Well, hey there, sports fans. Good to see you again. It's your friend, the gunman here from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm here in my rehearsal room. Sometimes I film from here. Sometimes I film from downstairs in my recording studio. Sometimes even in my bedroom, but it's usually after you buy me dinner first. Uh, I just want to send some love out to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. If it's your first time, welcome. We have a really neat little community here. We're building our numbers and we're spreading the love. We're spreading the good vibes. And I want to get right to it today. This is so cool because very rarely do we have an outcome like this happen. There were three sailors a few days ago that were lost at sea. I don't know why it is I feel so connected to the ocean. I always have. And my heart has always gone out to anybody who comes up lost at sea because very, very, very rarely are these people ever found, especially when a few days goes by, especially when weather's involved. Uh, we had three sailors on a 23-foot skiff, and they were just based off the Philippines, and they were going from one atoll to the other, and that trip was only 27 miles, 27 nautical miles. And they came up missing. No one heard from them. Their families didn't hear from them. And they sent out a search party, and it took three days. And right when it looked like they were gonna call off the search party, a United States Air Force plane with its really, really powerful lens. It was way, way up high. It's like spy plane high. Uh, saw something odd on a very, very small uh, de uh, deserted island. And it was basically kind of an atoll. It wasn't really that big at all. It's like the size of a couple of football fields, a couple of trees, not much of anything called Piccolot Island. And they, they noticed something there in the sand. It looked a little odd and they zoomed in on it. Sure enough, these three sailors out of coconut husks had made a giant S-O-S -S in the sand. And that's internationally recognized as a distress signal. Uh, no matter what your language is, you see OS, OS, and they, they come running. So the US Air Force plane radioed uh, into an Australian helicopter that was on the search. They diverted. They found the three sailors. Everybody is okay. They were able to drop uh, food and water to the sailors. Uh, apparently there wasn't enough capacity in that particular uh, recon helicopter to take them all home. They dispatched uh, a, a cruiser from Hawaii, which will be picking these sailors up today. But by all accounts from the radio they dropped in on them, they're doing okay. So these guys have been found. It is a happy ending. How cool is it to be able to get a happy ending in this crazy world that we're in? I just want to share it with you. And I think the moral of the story today for today's good news is never, ever give up hope and never give up trying. I'm seeing all of these stories on these, uh, these people who do survive in incredibly challenging conditions, whether or not they're lost in a blizzard or they're uh, lost at sea. And the one common denominator I find from all of that is their attitude. Their attitude is king, it's everything. If they have a great attitude and they maintain hope and they do everything they can, like these guys putting an SOS sign in the sand, they could have just said, you know what? There's, what are the odds? We are lost in the middle of the ocean. There are thousands of these little deserted coral atolls all over the place. They're never going to find us. They could have just wound up skeletons that someone would find, you know, hundreds of years from now, but they didn't give up. So I don't want you to give up. That's the news for today. If those guys can do it. You can too. All right. Uh, have a great, great day today. Make today a massive step towards your fulfillment and your great life. I love you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.